Welcome to Cast and Cajun. I'm your host, Tony Fontenot, Bo Grafton, and little Bo on the front of the boat. This is Bo's dad, Dr. Hoy Grafton. I caught a couple of little tiny, tiny ones earlier, but he's got the first nice one of the day. So get ready for an exciting half hour with Cast and Cajun. Go do it again, Doc. All right. Cast and Cajun is brought to you by Thibodeau Regional Medical Center for expert, compassionate care. Grafton Dermatology, specializing in diseases of the skin, hair, nails, and cosmetic surgery. Cajun Home Improvements, the last roof you'll ever buy. Don's Wholesale, your truck superstore with the largest selection of pre-owned trucks in Louisiana. Homatravel.com, experience world-class fishing in the heart of Louisiana. Visit homatravel.com. And by Tony Sacheries, makes everything taste great. All right, Bo. Looks like you're gonna be the first guy in the water, huh? Tell us what kind of bait you use. A uh, pinfish. Pinfish. All right, let's see you go catch one. Bo, drop it about a ten count. Okay. Fish on. There he is. Get him, Tony. You yes, gotta get indeed. a bite. First bite of the day. And it's fish on. That sound is your dry going out, boy. I tighten it up. Good one. Nice little snapper. Yeah. Wrong with that? Yep. Caught that first one on a live pogey. Usually I hook them through the eyes, but uh, hook that one through the back so you can swim easier. And I'll try doing the same thing again. We come up here with you, little boat. I just uh, pulled up my bait, and I had a decent sized circle hook on there, and uh, he bit the tail off, so I'm, I'm gonna try a smaller circle hook. See what happens. I got something small. Hey, Bo, I think I'm gonna let that one go on. Go! Put that out on a drip line. Fish are on. Fish are on. What's up, Tony? Doesn't feel really big. In the state waters, we find all kinds of uh, variations. I mean, we caught them last, three weeks ago, we caught them about a five count down at, at, at a couple rigs, and then we caught them on the bottom in the deeper rigs. So I think a lot of it has to do with the water that's coming out of the Mississippi River and how much salinity there is. I think when there's more fresh water, they're down deeper. But uh, if you get further west, then of course you're gonna catch them up higher because you're getting into more salinity. So. Over south of Fouchon and south of Cocodry, you're gonna be some closer rigs where you'll catch some fish. You gotta watch these gill plates. They're very sharp. But this catch is meant you can even rip them. Like I was saying, the reason we use circle hooks, as you can see, it always catches them in the corner of the mouth. 
so you don't have to worry about fish swallowing your hook. Release them to their death. Now, snapper also have very sharp teeth. With my catcher's mitt, no problem. First time I ever lip a snapper. Oh, now nah, you got it. You got it that time. Hit him die. How's that working? Show him who's boss, dog. Cool, that's a hammer. Show him who's boss. Get him bad. Where are we, Tony? What yeah, are you doing? That fight's a little harder than them crappie you can catch back home, huh? Yeah, a little bit harder. Yeah, you're right. We're fishing snapper, West Delta. That's Ooh, right. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, man. Yeah. And he got him file hooked. That'll work. Yeah, <laughs> Give me some dab there, Doc. Right. Oh, yeah. All right. That's a good one there, huh? Yes, indeed. Up, up. Get him both. <laughs> Dude, that is funny. I just said I hadn't even had a hit, and something smacked it. You sure about that? <laughs> hey! Get him both. I got it. What you have to do out here fishing these snapper within 10 miles is a lot of times you use some light tackle. I like 30 to 50 pound fluorocarbon, small hooks. Sometimes I put a little stinger hook on the wow. back because they get used to biting the tails off. Yeah, he's a good one. Whoo, yeah. That's a nice one. All right. Is he bigger than your dad's? Pretty fish. Wow. Pretty snapper. There was no hesitation on that one. He came up and just nailed it. I had a guy on YouTube, uh, Carlos Ramirez, was asking, he just moved to Louisiana and he was asking what the uh, limit on red snapper was and the size limit and the creel limit. Why don't you let him know? Limit on red snapper is two per person. The uh, size limit is 16 inches. And uh, what's the creel limit? I tell you, how many we can have two <laughs> yeah. per person? You got it. There you go. All right, guys. Look at the size of this little pogey to see what kind of fish it brings. Yeah. About the size of a dinner plate. Woo! Yes, indeed. We'll take it. You know, the commercial guys like that size snapper better than anything else because of the presentation. And both, you want to stick the rods in a rod holder and not these, let these beautiful reels rub on this side. Uh, Thank you, Tony. Aluminum gets crashed up. Oh, hooked up in the front, hooked up in the front. Get him up, boat. Get him out the rig, get him out the rig. Reel, 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 reel. Real, real, real. Get him, boy. You got him? Real, real, real. You got him? Reel him up. Come on, boy. Good job, partner. That's a baby, but that's all right. Tell us about this fish you just caught. What'd you do? What'd you, what'd you put down? Uh, a squid. Put a squid? And did you go all the way to the bottom? Tell me how you did it. Uh, Went all the way to the bottom and I reeled about five. Uh, five turns? Yeah. And then um, I felt something hit it. And then I just stayed right there. And then something. So you didn't set the hook, huh? You just yeah, started. You I, know better, right? Yeah. He's an experienced offshore angler. He's caught more offshore fish than I have. We mark a good fish down there. We're not 70 feet of water. The river's kind of high, and I don't know if they're staying down deep or they're not biting right now. So I think we're gonna try another rig, see what happens. Stay tuned.
Good one, Dad. Good one. Pretty fish. All right. Good one, Pop. Right, good fish. Ooh, that's a pretty little state water snapper. Yeah. Within 10 miles of state waters, early in the year, there's plenty of quality snapper. We catch some nice ones like this. You catch some really big ones sometimes. Remember, try using light lines, small hooks, and bring your family. Great trip. <laughs> Fish on. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up, baby. Mm -hmm. Ooh, bubble, no bait. It's a little better. That's a keeper. Oh, not really. Would you look at the amount of fish on that screen? Yeah, red snapper shortage. Another little one. It feels like it. Uh, a little bit better. Yeah, that one will keep. Measure them if they're 16, keep them. Another little one. Circle hook did his job. Get him, Doc. Got him, Pop. I got some bigger fish out here off the rig. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, look at that. Man, hey, Mo, I don't know what's up with it, but it looks like your dad's catching the big ones. <laughs> you do remember I'm driving the boat, right? Oh, OK, OK. All right, boys, more for the dinner plate. So we got out this morning, and uh, first, first rig I tried was a little sawed off rig. And uh, first thing when we get there, I always stop the boat, try to put it where it's totally in neutral, not moving, and I see which way the current's going. You want to know which way you're drifting from the rig so you can put the rope out. It's a little tricky this morning because current's going one way, wind's going another way. Sometimes they compete. So we uh, didn't do, do too well with the first two rigs. We moved to another couple of rigs and uh, starting to pick up some nice fish. We're staying on the up current side. A lot of boats like to anchor on the down current side, but on the up current side, the fish like to feed there. If you look at your GPS or your uh, sonar, drive around a rig, the up current side's always got more fish. Of course, when we're on the up current side, I don't get the fish. So, there you go. We left out of Bowles Camp this morning and uh, went over to Sand Dollar Marina. I want to thank Butch. He gave us some lunch, beautiful po' boys, breakfast, nice sausage and egg biscuits. Delicious. A little one. Hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Get him a bow. Get him a little bow. Now, according to Noah, that's N-O-A-A, -A, we don't have any little red snapper. So, I don't know, I guess this is a figment of your imagination that is swimming back to the bottom. Come on, Grant, boy. Whoa. I tricked him. Get him bow. Big one? I don't know what it is. No idea. This close. Look at that. Bad snapper. Pretty yes, water, boys. Big jack of all following him. I switched to a little bitty light line, almost like a mangrove rig, put a little bit of light weight, and I put a jumbo shrimp on there. Something down there, they're gonna hit it. Sometime around these close rigs, 40, 30 feet of water, you can almost fish with a, almost like a speckled trout rigs. Sometimes you'll catch lane snapper, which are really cool. They're kind of yellow. Looks like a red snapper with yellow stripes. And uh, you can keep 10 of those, just like mangroves. So it's always worth bringing a light line on the boat and just trying it. Get him, Pop. Oh, I just caught a snapper. Why do you think that's not snapper? What you got, Doc? Get him, Pop.
He's a snapper. Like I was saying, as you see, the circle hook caught him right in the lip, so we're going to be releasing him. We're just catching and releasing now because we got our limit. That was easy in South Louisiana, but the shortage of red snap we have, it takes at least two hours to get your limit. Oh, oh. I want to talk a little bit about safety and not getting your hands cut. I've got this uh, catcher's mitt on that's protecting me. But sometimes you want to grab them behind the gills for behind the gill plate for a picture or whatever. But this part right here is sharp as a razor, so you got to be really careful. And they've got sharp teeth, so you don't want to lip them either. So just be careful when you're picking them up. I suggest you grab a catcher's mitt, and you have nothing to worry about. Don't go away. When we come back, red snapper on the half shell hits the green egg. This casting Cajun cooking segment is brought to you by Tony Sashries makes everything taste great. All right, the way we clean these fish is called on the half shell. We left the scales and the skin on one side, season them up. Little Tony Sashries, like little Tony says, put it on till you can see it. And what I'm gonna do, for years, we used to cook it with, just put the scales down, which is a good way to do it but the top stays kind of pale. So when my cousin Jonathan showed me, you put it with the meat down first, but you gotta make sure you leave it at least three minutes, and then you flip it over to the scale side and let it finish cooking. If you try to flip it too soon, when you put the meat side down, it's gonna stick. All right, Bo, you wanna raise that green egg? Put some ham on there? I got it on the fish. All right, buddy. All right. I hope we can fit all three of these big boys on there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flip the fillets. Beautiful. Now you can see the char grilled lines on top of the meat. A pretty presentation always makes food taste better. All right, I'm about ready to plate this. Now a sauteed some onions, bell pepper, and garlic in butter. Now, it's ready to eat. The only thing left to do is squeeze a little lime. There you have it, folks. Now, I'm not gonna tease you by sitting and eating it in front of you. So try this recipe at home. It's delicious, you can't go wrong. I had a blast today. It was my first red snapper trip of the season. Whenever I'm with Bo, I have a good time, and we've never had a scratch trip when we were fishing offshore. But today I had an added bonus of having little Bo and Dr. Hoy, Bo's dad, with us. It's not hard to catch a limit of red, red snapper. We have so many snapper here in Louisiana, you almost can't drop your line without pulling one up. We did keep a few small ones to start off with, but then we got selective and we're releasing the smaller ones. We did manage to get a few nice ones also. So guys, we had a great time today. We went on a sand dollar marina, caught some really nice snapper, had to weed through some small ones, but had a great time. As always, we gotta give a special thanks to our military, both our active troops and our veterans. We love you, appreciate all you do for our freedom. So until next time, keep, keep on, on casting. I went by a construction site the other day and I saw Boudreaux digging in a portal there. I said, Boudreaux, what are you doing? He said, well, I came in here to do my business and when I took my coat off, it fell in this hole. I said, but Boudreaux, that coat is ruined. He said, yeah, but my sandwich is in the pocket. So we uh, definitely want, don't want to drive back in with this in the boat. Get a nice ticket with that. So uh, we're releasing. Got plenty of fish.